Oh, well, that's fantastic hearing you're、uh, getting more investment this fall. And、uh, speaking about Kibbutz, as someone who's also in CJ、uh, as、uh, at the moment, and also Camila, so why did you drop out of Kibbutz? Was it like a formal education wasn't very important to what we're doing? Um. I think it's many things.、Uh, first, it, it became very hard to manage the company and CJEP at the same time. I don't think that school and entrepreneurship are compatible. Sadly, I wish they were a lot more.、Um, but you know, having a full time job、um, and investing more than your full time, more time than you can conceive to an idea to a company,、uh, infringes on your school.、Um, it was starting to take. Uh, uh, you know, a toll on my grades, and I had to stop going to certain classes, and I would miss classes because I had to go to、uh, certain pitch meetings or investor meetings. And the only teacher that understood that and was flexible with me was my、uh, entreprise teacher, so like、uh, administration, whatever. So、um, business administration, that's for a short term. So、um, so yeah, so school was not really flexible, and I had to devote my my full twenty four hour cycle to the company. Um, that's why I decided to drop out. It was a complex decision, and I'm sure we can get into this. But、uh, yeah, that's that's what happened. Okay. Well, seems like it takes a lot of courage to decide to drop out of school and pursue something that、uh, doesn't necessarily seem to have a future at the very very beginning. So, what? Where did you find that courage to decide that? Yeah, I think a go loot is what I'm going to do、uh, full time from now, and I think I'm going to drop school. Yeah.、Um... I've addressed that that the question of courage、uh, a few times in, in in you know previous conversations, and what comes out is I don't think that it requires that much courage to drop out of school. People have this very epic image of the entrepreneur that drops out and then ba boom becomes this like divergent individual in society, but that's not what happened for me. And when you dig into the story. Of the Mark Zuckerberg's and the Bill Gates and whatever these these entrepreneur icons, you start to see that it's also not what happened to them. You know, before you drop out of school, you have certain levels of validations in your business and in your journey as an entrepreneur that convince you that there's at least 12 months or 18 months of runway for you to give it a try.、Uh, whether it's through funding or because you've joined an incubator program, you've signed a client, you're generating revenue because you have. A coffee shop or whatever it is, depending on the form of entrepreneurship, there's a minimal validation before you even drop out. Now, some people have dropped out and became very successful afterwards, but that's not what I did. And so, I think it it, it minimizes the courage part. It's a tough decision, and I think it has consequences. Of course, choosing is renouncing. So there's a few things that I've not been able to do, and blah blah blah. But overall, it was a safe bet. For me to go on go loot, and I think if you analyze what Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates and whatever did, it's a safe bet. Also, <laughs> of course, now with the proven results, but even at that time.、Yeah. Okay, understood. Well, yeah, that de- that definitely demystifies like the courage part、uh, quite a bit. And so,、uh, despite of dropping out of Prebuff, you still went to Harvard Business School online to obtain a certificate. Is that correct? That is correct. <laughs>、um, okay, so what did Uh, Harvard Business School online, at least. What did it offer you in terms of experience and knowledge that、um, a、uh, education here at CJ couldn't give you, or were there some other hands-on experience that you got at Harvard Online Business School、uh, that you did not get with、uh, just going with Golud、uh, exclusively?、Um, so Golud has been the best school in business for me by far.、Uh, nothing, and I'm not saying this to diminish other forms of education. This is a personal, again, perspective, but I do think it's true that the entrepreneurial journey, whatever your journey is, is the biggest learning you're going to have in business, the best and brightest learning you're going to have in business, far greater than what any thing in school could teach you.、Um, when it comes to entrepreneurship, again,、um, Harvard Business School was a decision on my side to strengthen my credibility as a manager, because I was about to hire now eleven people. And I needed to have show at least <laughs> a foundation and and a, a minimal knowledge in in management. That's why I took management essentials class, and I wanted to have also to demonstrate to people that I was not doing 
go to because I thought I was better than education or better than school. That's not the case. Um, so keeping, you know, keeping education as part of my process, keeping school a part of my process as I kicked off the company was really important for me. Now, school, even if it's Harvard Business Online, is not compatible with the lifestyle of an entrepreneur. I used to do my assignments like literally half an hour before deadline. <laughs> it was just crazy. Um, and, and I got to meet incredible people in this class uh, from around the world, very pertinent managers with a diverse background and experience. Um, but again, I, I could have gotten a lot more value if I was dedicated full time to, to my education, which was not the case. So that's why I never renewed, but I pushed through. I took a variety of learnings from that class that I still apply to this day. I met these very nice people, uh, very fascinating people. And um, I hope that I find more time in the future to do this, but I don't think it's, 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 uh, it's going to be possible in the next few years with the pace of my work at the moment. <laughs> okay, I understand. Um, so let's say, uh, hypothetically, you find some uh, extra time to pursue um, education, e either in business or um, just, for example, finishing CJEP. Uh, would you still pursue it? Do you think it's still a valuable experience to have? Well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I would finish CJEP per se. <laughs> Because I have my opinion on, on CJEP. CJEP is the school of life more than the school of content <laughs> and, and, and educational matter. I think it's it's more where you develop relationships, where you define yourself as an adult, where you embrace your identity, your personality, some things that you were insecure about that you know you bring up in CJEP and you start owning them. That's what that's what CJEP, at least for me, was. Um, of course, if you're in, you know, pure and applied sciences, then there's a lot more like rigid content because you're going to become a chemist or a doctor or a biologist, whatever. So, or an engineer, there's a lot more concrete matter that you're going to get from CJEP. But in, in human sciences with psychology, business, marketing, it's a bit more fuzzy to put it lightly. <laughs> so, so I would not go back to CJEP. I would go back to definitely university. I hope so one day or at my own pace. I don't care if it's, Especially if I can have the level of success I, I anticipate with Go Loot. I'm I want to keep learning, but at my own pace. I want to go to uh, California to listen to Peter Thiel, the founder of PayPal, give me a class on entrepreneurship and innovation. I don't want to learn something from someone I don't admire. So uh, that's what I would choose. So formal education for sure, just at my own pace and with the right people and the right courses. What you just heard was one part of our interview with Mr. Luca Bellon, CEO and founder of Golud. For the whole episode, you can now directly visit our links below to Spotify and Google Podcasts and wherever you get your podcast uh, for more awesome advice, uh, life stories, and other interesting segments on YouTube. The full episode will be released this Friday, so stay tuned.